Well, it's no surprise, really, that David Moyes is the, uh, the chosen one, the man to uh, have this awesome challenge of trying to take on the mantle left by the most successful British manager of all time. It was because money was placed on David Moyes, in fact, on Tuesday at the bookmakers that the rumours first surfaced that something was afoot. And indeed, the rumours intensified. And then yesterday, we had that dramatic statement that Sir Alex was indeed leaving. So, yes, we all expect that at some point today, there will be some kind of formal announcement that David Moyes is taking over here at Old Trafford. And, of course, the, the news dominates the morning newspapers, especially the sports pages, and especially here in Manchester. Let's just show you some of the, the headlines now, in fact. The, uh, the Manchester Evening News, your time has come. Uh, that's their headline showing shots there. You can see of Sir Alex and, and Moyes referring, of course, to the man chosen to, to take over. Liverpool Echo uh, over in the northwest, of course. Uh, Moyes to leave Everton for United. Let's not forget that he's been there for 11 years himself, David Moyes. And uh, on the back page of the, of the Echo, you can see that tribute to him. Thank you, it reads. Because, of course, he's been a, a real solid presence for Everton. They haven't actually won anything in terms of trophies, but they've always punched above their weight where, with Moyes in charge. The Telegraph, the chosen one, uh, is uh, how they see it. Moving on to the sun, that very symbolic image of the hairdryer hung up on the hook. The hairdryer, of course, referring to the infamous outburst that Sir Alex Ferguson uh, often uh, uh, subject some of the, his players to, match officials, the authorities members of the media, I can tell you as well at times. Even the Financial Times uh, on their front page uh, covers this story, the ultimate manager it refers to, and of course that's a sign of how important a story this is beyond sport, but also perhaps financially as well, because of course Sir Alex Ferguson has made Manchester United into a huge commercial entity, a huge global brand with millions of fans worldwide, a company worth billions of pounds, which is now listed on the New York Stock Exchange.